is the season of PSA returns. I just recently got this back. It is my late February $15 tier submission. It took roughly six weeks, and that includes the delay from Royal Mail with the um, kind of cybersecurity incident that, ha that they had. So all in all, not too bad at all. Um, without wasting any more time, we're just going to get straight into it. And I'm going to quickly talk through the submission itself and why or what I decided to grade. Uh, before I do that, I just want to mention I am not in the best condition. I'm not feeling too well, so I do have a bit of a sore throat. So my voice is hurting a little bit already, um, but uh, I will try and survive um, before or at least manage to make it all the way through the video. Um, first things first, before I show that off, this, and I'm not going to open it here, but this is a card that they actually destroyed. It is an Altart um, Space Juggler B Drill V. Um, I submitted a few of them and they destroyed one of them. They just That's another reason why this submission got delayed. Uh, the crazy thing was, and I was shocked to see that this thing passed, it passed through from grading to QA2 to shipped in basically two days. I, I don't know. I, I think they went from... Basically, it went to shipped and then went back to QA2. Then I got the message to say they damaged this card and walk through um, refunding me for the submission and and the card value itself, which was um, a little bit odd. Uh, I was a bit perplexed at the time as to why that actually happened. It went to shipped and then back again. Um, but obviously, figured that out eventually. Never actually had them ruin a card. Bef you know, um, turns out they actually did it during encapsulation, which was. Uh, but, you know, glad to get it anyway. Either way, get these uh, cards back. Let's actually not waste any more time, as I mentioned. Uh, so, yeah, these cards were, um, they're basically all Japanese cards. And they're a mixture of uh, cards I graded for myself, as well as cards that I'll be listing on my store at some point. Make sure you're checking, clicking the eBay and Instagram links to check me out on those. So, it's just a mixture of basically modern Japanese. So, we've got a few ready Charizard here. I'm gonna split these into some tens and nines and and spoilers a five uh fives piles. Um that sounds so weird to say files fives fives piles fives piles um but yeah it's a mixture of modern Japanese stuff so nothing nothing too crazy at all more radiant Japanese uh Charizards and Venusaurs got a few of the Starbirth Result V full art. Uh, one thing about this card is um, I don't see too many of them, and I, I genuinely think they're quite cheap. Um, although they are just a regular, regular V um, full art. Um, here's a five, and I imagine this is a five because there's a dent somewhere that I'm probably gonna struggle to show off. Um, again, like I saw these cards and they look pretty mint. At the time, I, I wasn't planning on submitting anything that I didn't think was going to get a 9 or a 10. I don't know if that was that's something there. No, it has a crease here. Oh, I'm sorry about the uh, extreme lighting, but yeah, you can see that crease there. That's why that happened. Sadly, the two... Where's my other one? I'm not sure it's in this pile, but I submitted two of these... Um, Hooper cards, the arched in the the movie promo, and both neither got a decent grade, which was annoying. Can't immediately, yeah. I think there's a bit of a bump. Yeah, it's there. The the thing is, the packaging that this I didn't see that when I submitted it. I don't know how. Uh, I don't think they damaged it. It's because the packaging this comes in is just isn't great. So a lot of them come out the come out the packaging completely, completely destroyed anyway so it's not a surprise that that happened i just thought i'd given it a bit of a look over so it seemed like it was in good enough condition so a couple of those snorlax hyper rares um i did submit three i won't spoil the uh the grade on the next one let me just get the next card so roughly submitted around about 90 cards um, so obviously at that $15 tier, including postage and get back to the UK, cost around about $1,500. Um, 
yes, postage is not cheap to here. Uh, and um, overall satisfied with the grades that I got. I got pretty much, I think, mostly 10s. But that's kind of expected when you're grading modern Japanese cards. If you're not doing that, you're not getting that kind of um, 10 rate. You are doing something wrong. Those Radiant cards, I would just say, are absolutely gorgeous. Another Blastoise in the pen. Just that Radiant pattern is fantastic, isn't it? And look, uh, we're at 73 for cert as well, which is just insane to think that it was like, felt feels like yesterday we were hitting like late 58, late 50s, late 58s. Um, and then now we're pretty much getting to middle sevens. And I'm sure if you're submitting uh, Express or something like that, you're actually probably at 75, 75 cert, which is, as I said, absolutely insane. The Radiant cards didn't do, I pretty much, as I said, thought they'd all get 10s, but unfortunately they didn't. Submitted a few of these, um, <clears throat> these Charizard VMAX Climate. And um, I just want to add that um, at this point, the price of some of these cards, mention it now because specifically this card is pretty low. And I mean, if you get a 10, you're still making a decent amount of the card costs you five dollars you're grading it for 15 16 17 if you're including postage um and you're selling it for like 35 40, I, i'm able to sell those for like 35 40 pounds in the uk um but if you make you know if you're getting a nine um you're probably able to sell that nine for like 20 25 so you'll recoup your money but at, at this point um given that the, the price is I think this is just too thick on the top, and I think it's got marking at the top. Yeah, at, at this point, you're spending time and putting money to one side to make 10 or $15. And yeah, if you're doing it in bulk like myself, it's not the worst gig, especially in the UK where there's just not as big of a market. So there's fewer of these cards. So um, like with me, if I list all those Charizards, I'm probably going to be most of what's listed um but generally is it really that worthwhile um probably not um given that as i said the nines your i mean to be honest you can say that the nines or i just wanted to get this out from the bottom you could say that the nines are paying for themselves at least which means there's pretty much no risk unless you get less than a nine and even then everyone's like you're, you're never getting punished right when you're He's selling graded cards and given that a lot of these modern cards are a lot of these modern cards are reasonably cheap as well i did the grading price you're at least getting your money back with a nine not it's not it's not terrible um again it's a, it's a decision for yourself um, with a lot of these cards like these alt i'm going to keep probably one of each copy um, just to have because I do think, especially like for example, this card is is gorgeous, right? Try and get that shine. Speed drum. Not, no, not to say this card is necessarily going to stonk uh, anytime soon. I just think it's a it's a lovely card to have. Graded it yourself. Why the hell not? Um, so yeah, about all the duplicates. But it's just a matter of preference for you as an individual whether you think it's worth grading. I'd like that Charizard V Max, for example don't have a store or you're not into particularly into like reselling you're not big on ebay or instagram or anything like that or you don't want to put that time and effort into doing it i wouldn't really recommend it if you don't mind doing that and putting that time and effort in for me obviously i'm just getting more inventory from my store um so it makes sense for me to submit a bulk amount even at this 15 dollar price range more radiant charas and i'm glad of the radiant cards um, aside from the one five, it's the Charizards that did really well on. Again, similar with the uh, the Vmax. Uh, sorry, the sorry, I said Vmax. I meant from Vmax Climax, the character rare. This is going for like forty forty five pounds. Like you're still doing okay, um, but again, I, I would I would just kind of let you make that decision for yourself. Um, and, and as I explained, it works a little well for me just because, as I said, I've got my store and I always want to make, make sure I have inventory and I always want to make sure that um, I've got cash flow and cash moving. Um, but 
Otherwise, would I really recommend it? I'm not too sure. Nine on this on V, which was a little bit disappointing. Probably this. I don't know why I submitted this in the um, yeah, Aerodactyl, given that there's a bit of that. I'm straight out of the packet like that, but do submitted three of these gold cards. One, number two. And that is a number three. I was expecting it to be number three, but it's not. Uh, the reason why I submitted these is I cracked them out from some uh, some random US SDG, SDG grading, some no one really cares about. Um, and I haven't graded these myself. I do own copies of the gold um, cards from Tag All Star. Actually, apart from the Reshi's art, um, but I didn't have graded them myself. So. Now's a good opportunity to do that. So I'll be selling the copies that I owned already and um, keeping those here is the definitely keeping these considering I have graded them. I think I've also graded, I've actually also graded the Lucario Mel Metal, I believe, in a 10 as well. So um, moving towards completing that, grading those myself. And I think this card is just really beautiful, isn't it? The gold shine on that. You don't get this. With these uh, modern English cars, just that shine and that hollow pattern is insane. Although it is changing now, given that we um, we are now starting to see them use the Japanese foiling and the Japanese orders for Scarlet and Violet. So that's some good news. Don't know why this got an eight. Probably some. It's easier for me to look directly at the card and not at my recording uh, I'll look at that later but 8 there another 9 ready blast I think that's like 3 or 4 of those 9 EV so we've got the 8, the 9 and the 10 EV another bloody 9 blast voice. so there's 9 blast voice. it didn't do too well for me and then 3 total 9 EVs there I don't know why I've put that there get those bad right pile most of the way through um at this point got a couple of boxes a couple of boxes left what else is in here so i actually also pardon the uh box i graded um a decent amount of v star universe so i'm going to get myself a copy of the entei the suicune and the Raikou, so that's why they're going to go there. That's going straight in the personal collection. We've got a Leafion V Star. I think I graded three of those. Here's one. Um, that's awesome. I wanted. I owned a copy of this, uh, and they did sell it. I didn't grade that copy myself, but now I'm glad I've graded one myself. Not the most difficult card to obtain and grade or anything like that. I find it probably quite easy to get one in mint condition, but um, I just think similar. To, I don't know. Some of those gold cards do it for me, to be honest. Which, uh, which is a strange thing to say, but come on, awesome. There, got nine on one of the Leafions. Not disappointing there. Nine on the Suicune, so not keeping that one. Here's the one we probably want to. Keep then it is, and this has got to be one of the one of the better cards from V Star Universe. Not that there all were are too many bad cards in there, but definitely one of the higher higher end cards, at least in terms of. And it's not necessarily too expensive card. Got a spare ten of that sweet coon. Got a Dialga for the personal collection. Um, and this Dialga just looks insane when you put it under light, right? You can see just that shine on the gold. You've got the sun thing. I don't know if that's like Arceus's... Is that not like Arceus's left toe or something? Or right toe? Um, and just the primal, primal Dialga origin. Um, Dialga. Awesome. That's another one. Happy to get in a 10 so that I don't have to buy one. Another Suicune, of course. Then we've got the Mewtwo V Star. Another super awesome card. Like, shocked to see actually that it's more expensive in 
around Zenith than it is in VSTAR Universe, but hey ho. Uh, we've got this Nessa from VMAX Climax. Um, I just saw this. Uh, and I know it's not like a super duper expensive or like desirable, um, what's it called, waifu card, but I thought it was pretty cool nonetheless. Not to say it's ever going to become like a sightseer or a, or a lily for art, but I thought it was pretty cheap um, at the time, and then that's why I picked it up. I think I paid $20 for it raw. Not sure, probably, probably only goes for about $25, $30 now, but nice to get that in a 10. Another leafy on V Star. Got a few, and I think I showed one off earlier. Uh, red and blue from Alter Genesis. Thankfully, all of those got. And another Mewtwo. I almost dropped that. Another red and blue. I think this is the final one. I think that's just. I, I like it's. Not a particularly rare card, not a particularly expensive card, but it's red and blue. I think I do think it's actually um I picked them up raw pretty much. I guess similar to the Nessa, like twenty, twenty-five dollars. And I do think that's a pretty good price, all things considered. Uh you I think it's like the the cards from Tag Team GX. The the green, the red, and the blue cards from there are reasonably expensive and getting up there. I have a copy of uh, the, I have a copy, I think, of the blue, I, I think everything but the green exploration, uh, which is sad because it's the most expensive one and the, more, the most waifu one of, of the lot. Not that I'm interested in that per se, but, uh, but um, yeah. But those and those are significantly more expensive than that red and blue, for example, and and that's ob obviously that red and blue is from Alter Gen Genesis and not necessarily one of the they're not necessarily one of the best cards from uh, Tag Team GX like the um, the red, green, and the blue cards are. Still think they're like not necessarily badly priced. Got this Tag Bolt Gengar and Mimikyu GX. Would have liked the alt art, but saw this at a pretty, pretty decent price. I picked this up raw for like twenty-five dollars, I think. Obviously in mint condition. That more B drills and PSA ten. Just hope they they can be slow sellers. Uh, to be honest, even when they're priced pretty cheaply, having this problem with the punch crows, and it's funny to say. I don't know why I put that there again. It's funny to say that, given that I've graded more of them. But they just don't move too quickly. Japanese alt arts, obviously, English alt arts do significantly better. Actually, I'm probably, definitely, probably, that at least. But a regular full art Umbreon V from Eevee Heroes. And got a few more of those, I believe. Not a fan of that hollow pattern actually, which is a surprise given it's a Japanese card. It's just like the triangles are a bit boring. All things considered when talking Japanese. A star, another Starbirth Charizard. Let's split that just in case that Tower of Tens does fall. Another Umbreon. Got another Crow Altart. And some more Charizards from VMAX Climb. That's, I think, the third 10, fourth. Could have probably submitted 50 of those, and most would have come back 10s. And their Charizard cards are they're eventually going to sell. More Charizard. Finally, got myself a 10 Radiant Blastoise. Bit of a pain, apparently, to get one of these. Then, last and definitely one of the least. Is this Naganadel and Guzzlord GX from Alter Genesis? Another Alter Genesis card, of course. Uh, for some reason, this came back. And hey, I did think it was mint when I sent it, but must have missed something on the surface. Can't immediately see, see anything here on the back. Let me know if you can actually figure out why. Maybe I'm just being a blind git. Probably something on the surface here. I'm trying to shine the light in it so I can kind of figure it out. But 
Um, doesn't look like anything there. Uh, if that's the case, I mean, it's an eight. I must be missing something. There's always some eagle-eyed person watching who's a lot smarter than me who can figure it out. But if that's the case, I might actually crack that open because um, it's probably worth more uh, without the case. But that is my return from a late Feb $15 special. Took roughly six weeks to come back to the UK. Pretty good overall. Happy with the grades. This pen pile here is way, way off camera. That's this bit here is like halfway. Um, and then obviously these a few more on the side. So yeah, pretty good uh, submission overall. And uh, if you've got any questions about grading, grading cards, and generally what kind of you know, time frames, anything you might have in regards to grading cards with PSA, make sure to know or feel free to ask those questions in the comments. Like if you enjoyed the video, and thank you for checking it out. And hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.